Hey, what's happening, everybody? Now, Apple usually gets all the love when it comes to screen recording, but I'm going to show you how to do screen recordings on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. <laughs> all right, let's come over here. All right, come like this. Scroll down. Yes, I was holding the wrong phone. All righty. So you see where it says screen record right there. You can do one of two things. You can either press and hold it, and it's going to do that, right? It's going to give you all of this. And wh while we're here, we'll just have a look. Show toolbar while capturing. So we'll get into that. Delete after sharing. I don't re recommend you delete after sharing because you might be sharing to multiple platforms, your screen record. So do not activate that. Hide status and navigation bars. I guess you could say you're sharing to like social media and you don't want people to see all that stuff up there. So bam, it goes away. Save original screenshots. This lets you revert to the original screenshot after editing them in the gallery. All right, so whatever y'all want to do in the format, just leave that alone. JPG, that's what you want. And so on and so forth. All right, record sound, media, and mic. So I have that activated because I do screen recordings for social media. In other words, I'm like talking over it and stuff. Video quality, I leave it at 720. It's a screen record, but if you want, you can choose 1080, or if you want to be cheap, you can do 480. So anyway, that there you go. And you can show your taps and touches. I have that on because sometimes maybe I'll do a tutorial where I'm tapping on around, so on and so forth. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here, get rid of that. All right, next, I'm going to show you something else. So you come over here, and you saw earlier I pressed and, I pressed and held it. Well, this time I'm just going to tap on it, and it's going to do that. So you're going to see some of my uh, my presettings already. It's automatically set to media and mic. So whenever I do start recording, we're going to go. And in the recording, what's going to happen is it's going to hide that right there. And you see I enabled, I left that there so I can see those settings, those things right there that I can navigate while I'm doing it. Anyway, then you're done. You're done. So next, I'm going to show you guys something, how this comes in handy. We're going to come over here. We're going to open up Google News. So wish me luck. A lot of craziness comes over here. I know some of you all uh, will try to find something that's not too heavy. Uh, we'll try to find something here that we can talk about. Okay, we'll talk about this. Say you all are, you all like to report on stuff, right? And you want to make a reaction video to this. It's not just you. Google Pixels are glitching right now. So for whatever reason, you want to make a video about that, right? You're going to come over here, tap. It's going to give you the option, media and mic. Start recording. It's going to give you a countdown. All right, you're going to be talking. You're going to say, hey, my Google Pixel is working just fine. Or you're going to say, yeah, my Google Pixel is glitching out. It's terrible. You're going to, bam, you're done there, right? Then what it's going to do, it saves it. All right, then you come over here to save your recording. Talking, you're going to say, hey, my Google Pixel is working just fine. Or you're going to say, yeah. My Google Pixel is glitching out. And then also down here, you'll see like the little, uh, you'll see like the little share button and all that. You can hit that share icon and share it however you like. All right, everybody. Take care.